Today we're talking about the top reasons to move to Springville, Utah. So let's get started. Hi everyone, Debra Wilkie here with Charles Wixom Realty and today we're talking about moving to Springville, Utah. So I've lived in Springville for about a year and a half now and have really enjoyed this community. So I'm going to talk today about some of the features and cool things that surround um, Springville and the reason why you should move to Springville. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit about Springville in general. So the estimated population uh, in 2020 is about 33,000 and is expected to continue growing as homes are, continue to be built um, and yeah, it's just growing. Utah County is growing in general and Springville is kind of a, a destination to build homes. Springville is considered a bedroom community, meaning that people live here but work in other cities. So you do kind of get that commute congestion a little bit in the mornings and evenings, um, but it's built to handle it because it was built as a bedroom community. So um, what that means is you have a lot of neighborhoods, um, a lot of family focused events, and you kind of have more centralized homes versus homes mixed with commercial property and retail. So that's kind of a nice feature about Springville. One of the other things that Springville is famous for is being art city. So Springville um, has many art activities and features and probably the biggest one that most people know about is the Museum of Art. And the Springville Museum of Art has um, some rotating um, exhibits as well as those that stay. They do feature a Utah specific uh, exhibit and it's a beautiful place to spend an afternoon with your family, a uh, great place to take kids. They do a lot of activities at the Museum of Art, so be sure to check that out. Springville also features Art City Days, which takes place in June. And this is a fun event that they host every year for the family. There are hot air balloons. Um, they do a lot of like booth events and just fun events. Um, lots of concerts in the park, movies in the park, things like that to bring families together and have a good time. Another fun event that Springville hosts every year is the World Folk Fest, and this is in July. The World Folk Fest features um, people from all around the world who come and showcase dances from their native countries. It's an amazing experience to get to know people. A lot of uh, families in Springville are host families, meaning that they take in those coming to perform for you know a weekend and allow them to stay in their home. So you get a unique experience in addition to participating in the World Folk Fest. Another fun park that Springville has, there's two really big ones. There's the Arts Park, which is where most of these events take place. And there's the Bartholomew Park. And if you've never been to Bartholomew Park, it easily became one of my favorite places this summer. Um, we didn't know about it before. It's a reservoir, so you do have uh, access to kayaking if you want to or um, you know, fishing, they do have some fishing areas. Um, you can take your dogs, they're not allowed in the water, but they are allowed on the grassy areas with a leash. So it's dog friendly, which is wonderful. And we just have a lot of fun there. Um, it's, it's just a beautiful park that they keep well maintained. Uh, my advice is to, if you live in Springville, get a parking voucher from the city. All you have to do is show me utility bill and give them your address and they'll give you a parking voucher so that you can use the park for free. Super, super beautiful park. Um, in addition to the Bartholomew Park, a little bit further up the road, we've got Hubble Creek Canyon. And this is fun because you've got a golf course up there and the canyon, which in the fall is beautiful. It is one of the best places to see fall leaves. It's not super far from Springville's downtown area, so it's a great option to take your family for a picnic or just for a drive. So we love the canyon. We love the Hobble Creek Golf Course being so close and it's just a beautiful place. Um, there's some really expensive, beautiful homes in that area. So if you're ever feeling ambitious and want to uh, just drive around and, and check out some awesome homes, that is one of the best places in Utah County to do so. So um, those are some cool things about Springville. 
It's also extremely close to Provo and Orem. So again, it's a, that bedroom community. A lot of people work in Provo and Orem and then commute home to Springville. It's not a super long drive um, to downtown Provo. It's about 12 minutes from most of Springville. So you, you're you close to a lot of uh, commercial and retail areas, but you come home to a nice neighborhood. So that's one thing I love about living in Springville. Let's talk food. So Springville has a couple of really great uh, restaurants that are unique to Springville. Uh, a couple of my favorites is Maggleby's. Maggleby's is a little bit fancier of a restaurant. They do um, some really good kind of more gourmet meals. You've got your steaks, your salmon. Their salmon is excellent. And on top of that, they have like the best chocolate cake ever. I'm not a big fan of like chocolate on chocolate, but their chocolate cake is delicious. Um, my recommendation is to get their raspberry sauce and it's super, super good. So check that out. There's also the Art City Trolley, which if you've never been, they kind of do um, like your barbecue, wings, um, they have quesadillas, some burgers, salads, kind of food. It's super, super good. I highly recommend their quesadillas if you've never tried them, super delicious. Um, We've also got Ginger's Cafe, which is one that's focused on fresh eating. So it's um, kind of the healthier food and a lot of people love that. There's some other ones in the area, uh, Joe Bandito's, if you're looking for Mexican food, they're um, local to Springville and super delicious. So if you are looking to move to Springville, here's a couple of reasons why, just to recap, it's Art City. We've got Hobble Creek Canyon, super, super, excuse me, super close. Um, we've got beautiful parks and recreation super close by. It's a nice bedroom neighborhood community. So you have um, kind of that more hometown feel despite its growth. And you've got great restaurants that are local to Springville. So be sure to check out my other videos about other local cities that you should move to.